my name is Sana. Today I thought that I would wait. I'm in this random car. Let me just get out of this. It's someone else's car. I have no idea whose car it is. But hi, my name is Sana. Today I am going to be playing some more GTA because I just found out that a new car came out. Apparently, there is this thing that every single Tuesday, Rockstar Games will be releasing a new car in GTA. So, for this week, it is the Hijack Rustin. I'm really excited to purchase the car and then I will go and customize it fully and then hopefully I will be able to race with it and show you guys and give you my own opinion on how it performs and how the car is. First of all, we're gonna go over to the Legendary Motorsports and here it is. Hijack Rustin and as you can see it's it's not that expensive, but I guess it's gonna be really expensive After you have customized it a few times, you know, so it always gets more expensive than you think So let's order it in blue and there we go now We just have to wait a bit until the car arrives and then we will hurry up go down customize it and see how the car performs So basically this car is kind of like a racing car in a way. I mean it is a sports car but it is really really lightweight and it kind of looks like a cart like carting car if you know what I mean and it is really lightweight and Yeah, it's not really secure if you want a secure car You don't want to get that one I think it breaks really really easily as it says on the website I did do a bit of my research guys. So yeah, let's just wait till the car arrives and then let's start Oh my god guys, so it has arrived. Wow. I've got so many blue cars. Hopefully this time I will not choose a blue color, but I just really love the GTA blue colors. So yeah, it's hard not to choose them. But as it looks right now, it looks quite small compared to the other cars. I don't know if it's only because it doesn't have a roof. It, don't, it does kind of look like the T20 on the side. I think the T20 has kind of the same thing. But um, yeah, Jelly accidentally deleted it off my GTA, so I don't have a T20 anymore, at least not in my garage. I do expect that it's gonna be quite bad on the brakes, but the speed is gonna be really, it's gonna be really, really fast because it's so lightweight, but it's gonna be difficult in the, in the brakes. So let's head over to Los Santos customization and get this started, guys. So far, I really actually like the driving. It is really fast and it's quite easy in the turns. I didn't expect it to be so easy, but yeah, I, I actually really like it. I do believe the brakes could be a bit better though, but I'm not complaining that much so far. It's much better than I thought. So here we are guys and let's start on the armor. Of course you want to upgrade it to 40%. I wish I would be able to upgrade it to 100%, but now I can't because I'm not in such a high level on GTA yet. Let's get the race brakes because we really need that with this car when it's so lightweight. Let's see, front bumpers. Do we want any bumpers? Ooh, let's see. Uh, actually, I, I prefer actually this one. What do you guys think? I'm not really sure. I, this one I actually don't like at all. But I, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with this one. Rare bumpers, let's see. Oh, this looks kind of the same as the front. I mean, it, it's matching. This is kind of... Yeah, it looks pretty good. This is the one I have right now, so I don't really know what to do. I, I guess this one looks a bit more sportier, and this one looks a bit more casual. But it does go with the with the front. You know what? I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go for it. Let's go for the engine, guys, and upgrade it to level 4. Wow, I'm really spending mad cash right now. <laughs> okay, guys, so the exhaust. Uh... I'm, I'm okay with the one we have right now, actually, and I accidentally just left. Why? Why does this always happen to me, guys? Why does this always happen to me? Okay, guys, we are back in again, and let's finish customizing this car. I feel like I always just accidentally leave the garage. Let's go on to the hood. Let's see. Uh... So this is the one I have right now, which is kind of plain and kind of boring. Maybe I should change it up a bit. Uh, but I'm not really, I don't really like any of these, to be honest. Let's see. What else could I choose? Uh, you know what? I don't like any of them. I'm good. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I'd rather have a plane. Let's see the horn. Let's not choose that one now. <laughs> oh my god, those are annoying. Headlights. Let's see. 
Which one should I go for? Let's go for those blue ones. See on lights. I love those. Neon kit. I love the front, back, and sides. Let's look at the plate, guys. So, I prefer actually black, yellow on black. Let's go for that one. I always get that one for all cars. Sometimes I feel like I customize my cars really, really similar, which is a really bad idea. Primary color. Let's see. I do like the metallic colors because then I can actually have a pearl scent added onto it and I love those so I'm not really sure I actually really really like this carbon black color also this one's really nice graphite which one do you guys prefer more like a gray silvery color or a black uh I don't know let's go through and look at the other colors I love this one as well the problem is I love too many of these colors. I also love this one. Looks like a goldfish kind of, which sounds kind of weird, but it's it's a really nice color. I really like it. I don't know though. What I also love is these colors. I love the midnight purple. You know, I might actually go for this one. Let's go for it. And then let's see if they have a nice pearlson color that I can add to it. Oh, this looks amazing. I love this. Actually, guys, I think I changed my mind. I actually don't really like the color orange, but on this car, it actually looked really cool. And you can add some more. Let's see. What color should I add? You know what? I'm going to leave it like this. I think it looks really, really cool. Let's go back to the secondary color and let's also choose a metallic color there. I love those. Oh, wait. Oh, this is inside the car. Super cool. Which color should I choose? Maybe an orange color? I'm not sure though. Or a yellow color actually looks quite cool. I'm not sure. You know, I'm gonna go for the yellow color. I'm gonna go quite crazy in this. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be happy with this in the end. But yeah, I hope I'll, I'll stay happy. Let's see, a roll cage. Do I want a roll cage? Oh my God. I'm not actually too excited about roll cages. So we're actually gonna skip that and then let's sell the car. No, nah, I'm joking. Okay guys, let's see the skirts. You know what? I'm just not gonna have any skirts. I don't, I'm not really too interested about those. Let's see. The splitters. I actually never liked these parts of the car. I'd rather just have none, kind of. Less than more, you know? So, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now, let's see the spoiler. Guys, which one? Um, I'm so boring. I kind of like the original one. Or should I go for, like, a black one? If anything, I think I will go for this one. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it to make it a bit more interesting, guys. So not everything is the same. Let's look at the transmission, guys. Of course, we need to get the raised transmission up to 100. And turbo, turbo tuning, we also need to get. This is a really, really expensive car now, guys. I actually like these rims a bit. Let's go onto the chrome rims and maybe change them. I'm not really sure which one should I go for. I, I like these ones quite a lot. Uh, I'm not really sure which else I could choose. Hum. This actually looks really cool. It actually goes with the car. It's kind of like a red color as well. So that one actually goes with the car. Wait. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. It's the original wheels. What's wrong with me? But you know what? I've never customized a car so little as I've customized this one. But it's a good thing, right? So guys, this is the car. I actually really, really like it. Okay. I think the orange and the red and the kind of yellow thing was a bit too much of the car. I don't, I'm not really interested in those colors actually. But you know what? For this video, I'm just gonna do a bit different from other videos because I usually do customize my cars blue. So let's make it a bit more interesting. Now let's take it out and maybe race with it a bit. How about that? Okay, guys, we have chosen a race right now, or, I, yeah, I didn't choose it. Someone else chose a race, and we are about to, yeah, race with the car. It looks like one of those races I'm really bad at and that I hate. I don't really like the sandy roads, and when there's so many hills and ups and downs, I prefer it when it's actually, like, solid ground. <laughs> now, here you go. Here we have the custom Nuston. Nuston? Yeah, I guess that's what it's called. I keep on, I keep on forgetting these things. I'm ready to play, guys. Let's... I I'm so excited. And by the way, don't expect too much. I'll probably be last place. It is time, guys. Hipster Death Rally. I really hope I'm good at this race now. I mean, 
I cast the most as good as I can. And uh, yeah, it's not my type of race, but I hope I won't be last place at least. That's my goal for today, to not be a last place. What? Oh my God. Things are going so wrong. People are exploding. This, I hate this race. Oh my God. But by just driving the car a bit, um, it's okay. Of course, T20 is my favorite of all time. But I mean, it's actually, it's actually decent. I mean, it's kind of difficult telling by this race. Oh my God, I can't believe this. I'm failing so badly, guys. But I do think that this race is not the best race to actually try this car out with. But yeah, good enough, right? Good enough. We are already on lap two, guys. That was really, really quick. Let's brake now. The brakes are quite slow. I don't know if it's because of this race, though. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Oh my god, I'm doing so bad. I'm doing so bad, but I am fourth place. So I'm I'm top 50. 50%, I mean. So that's good enough for me. It is really difficult to control, actually, because it's such a light car. It's it's difficult in the turns, but I do believe that could only be because of the race. I'm not really sure though. I should stop making excuses. Yeah, you really have to be really careful when you race with this car. You need to remember that it's a really light car and that it can break really quickly. But yeah, let's see. What place did I end up anyways? I didn't even check. I forgot. I think it was like fourth, fifth place. I'm not sure. I finished fifth place, guys. Good enough for me, okay? I hate these races, so... Good enough for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see another video next week on next Tuesday of the new car, whichever car it is, when that one comes out, make sure to leave it in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up and tell me how did you customize your car? What color? What's your favorite color on a GTA car? Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Thank you for the support. Bye.